Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a crude YouTuber that's trying to have a yellow no-buy. And today it is time for my second Halloween week and this is also my melt week. And I have four palettes from melt that is their old holiday palettes and then I also have the smoke session and I was like, I just threw in this smoke session in this week. So... If you want to know which palettes I'm going to talk about, I can leave my first uh, or my like intro up here where I talked about the palettes, but I think we just hop into this and I am going to do a look with the Smoke Session palette. So the Smoke Session palette from Melt, I talk about this every time I show this palette. I hate the like theme of this. I think it's just so lame. But the palette is like a grungy dream and I wanted this palette for so long. I caved, I bought it, I haven't used it that much. But today I want to do a look that I think I might have done already but like I just want to do a really deep deep look. So I think I'm just going to use two colors. Uh, this Sour Diesel and Granddaddy I think. I think actually this palette is kind of hard to work with because it is so deep and like it's really, yeah, I just think it's a little bit hard. But okay, I'm going to prime my eyes. I didn't do that in the beginning. And I don't know about my hair today. You see like this is, I've had it in a bun for like two days and it's just like living its own life down here. I hate it, but... I guess that is just how we will look <laughs> for now. Mm, I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to start with Sour Diesel and take it in my crease. And then I'm also going to, yeah, I'm going to do a half cut crease with this one. And it might be that, if I'm going to be honest, sometimes I don't know why I keep this palette. Because I don't... I do love the cool color story and that it is so so dark but at the same time I hate the theme and it's just not a palette that I'm using that often and uh, maybe that could be like one reason to declutter a palette but yeah I don't know but it's like something about my melt palettes that I am not using them that much, like none of them, and I also have two stacks. I have the radioactive stack and... Another stack that I can't remember the name of. But it feels like Melt is a brand that I really want to love, but I don't. And okay you see like how deep this is i'm just going in with a little bit at a time they did take a little bit smaller and stiffer blending brush because i wanted it to i wanted to have a little bit more of control over this and not have it like super super dark now are you doing something special for halloween i'm not like in sweden we i've talked about this we are not like celebrating halloween at all and people just giving it uh, an excuse for drinking alcohol so i think like something like this is good so i'm going in with the same brush just a little bit on my outer corner of the eye and just out here and it's now i don't want to match here either this shade i think i like it it's kind of <laughs> dirt in one way but I think it's like the right amount of depth to it but maybe I think they could have done because it's only two mattes in this palette I think they could have switched out one of the shimmers and have like three mattes or maybe yeah, I don't know but I actually think that I want to cut my crease. I don't know, do I really need that? Maybe I should try without cutting it and taking 
this brush and okay I do not need to cut this do you see this this is the granddaddy this one this is really 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 opaque And yeah, it was a super long while ago since I used this palette the latest. I know that some of the shimmers in this palette is amazing and some of them are really like shit as it always is when it comes to melt. But this was so, so good. I'm just going in with a matte shade and trying to just do like that. I like a super simple but really cool look I think this is turning out to you like this is so easy and nothing has to be like complicated I think I love easy cool looks and I just think I'm done like this this went very fast but I do love the look of it it looks a little bit like dirty now because I have <laughs> some fallout and I just think that this is one of the looks that is going to look so much better with the base on when yeah clean up with the base on with a dark red lipstick of course so I will fix that and then I come back so this is the finished look for my face I did use ombra from Nabla independence from Nabla and awesome from Nabla on my waterline I did use Wildcat from Colourpop and on my lips Unspoken from Nabla. And I do love this look but and I just did just use two shades so I used Grand Daddy and Sour Diesel and I think it is a really cool look but at the same time like I have other shades or other eyeshadows in my collection that I think I could have done the exact same look with so I'm not like super blown away by this and for me melt is like really cool color stories and I think they do really cool palettes the most of the time but I think like the quality is a little bit lacking and I also think that melt is a really expensive brand and maybe not really expensive but it is an expensive brand and I don't think like it's maybe worth it all the time and also like some of the palettes are really good some of the palettes are really bad some of the shades are super amazing some of the shades are just shit so yeah and I think it is the same with this one this is the only normal melt palette I have like in their normal line I, I don't know if this is discontinued but this was one of their normal normal palettes one of the ordinary palettes one of the palettes in their collection like normal range and yeah I I think it is cool color store in this palette that's the only thing that is cool with this but I I wouldn't buy it again I wouldn't do that because I don't think it is like an amazing palette and also like if it is a palette with only eight shades I want all the eight shades to be amazing but yeah this look is really cool this shimmer is an amazing shimmer I have nothing to complain about and the matte shade is also like really deep and yeah so I have nothing to complain about but I don't like <laughs> this is not a palette that I use that much and <sighs> yeah I wouldn't recommend it like it's too expensive to not be like amazing I think you could buy like singles and have it more amazing so yeah that was all for this first video for this week and I hope that you are looking forward to my melt week or my melt Halloween week I am so looking forward to this because I really want to use my melt palettes more and especially the Vida Muerte and the Two Build Use palettes. I have been wanting that for so long. So yeah, I hope that you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!